What's up guys, back with another Bacchus Productions video. But, <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I'm stupid. It's been a minute. I think it's been about three or four months. Uh, I have been super busy with a lot of stuff. Basketball, I got a job working as a bus boy. And uh, yeah, I've just been super busy. So I haven't been able to put out a video, but today's a snow day. I got something special. The Mr. Beast Crunch Bars. I actually don't have all the flavors. I have most of them, but there's this other one that came out recently that's not quite in stores yet. I think it's online, but uh, I couldn't find it. We got different Mr. Beast Feastables chocolate bars. Uh, we got milk chocolate, original chocolate, which I think might be a dark chocolate. Almond Crunch, which I'm not entirely looking forward because I don't like uh, almonds. And then a uh, Quinoa Crunch. Uh, quinoa is like, I don't quite know what it is. I think it's kind of like a rice, but, um, also I'm having a bad hair day. So that's why I got the beanie on and I look like, uh, Eminem from, um, uh, what is it? Like eight mile? I don't know. Never seen it. Original chocolate. Quick nutrition facts about these things. Uh, one serving size is half bar, 170 calories, 14 total sugars, two grams of protein, uh, seven grams of saturated fat. And, uh, it's only actually, all these bars only have like four or five ingredients. Uh, this one has four and uh, it's $2.99 or something at Walmart, so let's just get into it. It says right here, a little piece to share, a little piece to devour. I'm just gonna break off this piece. So yeah, the original chocolate, it is a dark chocolate. It's actually not that bad. It's, it's not that bitter, surprisingly enough. It's actually one of the dark chocolates that I've kind of liked more in life, but it's a very good, simple, original dark chocolate um i'm gonna finish all these bars on my own time um but i'm just gonna go through them real quick right now the milk chocolate i've actually already had one of these bars because uh i was sad one night and i was like all these bars were just sitting here and i was like okay i'll just have one and yep that's good real real standard like a just a standard milk chocolate it doesn't quite taste like Hershey's or anything Hershey's is a lot more um it, it melts a lot more in your mouth and I think it's a lot sweeter but again these are only this is only five ingredients for this for the milk chocolate one it's very simple it's very broken down simple chocolate almond crunch I don't think I'm allergic to almonds I've al I've always gotten like bro this should be that hard I've always gotten like a scratchy, itchy throat whenever I ate pecans before, but then like at a, my family Christmas, uh, I ended up, my lip ended up swelling and I was like, you know, I'm probably not going to eat pecans anymore, but I think I should be fine with almonds. I just, I'm just not a big nut person, honestly. So you can see there the bottom, hopefully that doesn't ruin everything out of focus. And then you can see them in between. So yeah, let's go. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. It has a very strange smell. It doesn't smell like the other chocolate bars. It's a little strange. Can't even really like feel the almonds. Kind of just, it feels like you're just eating the, uh, the original, the, the dark chocolate original one. So there's not much benefit of getting the almond one. The quinoa crunch. Again, don't entirely know what quinoa is. So this is gonna be like a competitor to like crunch bars considering it's called a quinoa crunch. So, uh, yeah. Oh. I like that. I do think the quinoa, like all the ones other than the milk chocolate one are dark chocolate. I think the quinoa adds something there. It's, it's, it's a nice addition and I think it makes it a little better. Go back through and rank them. The original chocolate. I'm not personally a dark chocolate fan like I said before, but that's, it's not half bad chocolate. Uh, it's, uh, rating these are gonna be very weird because they're all very similar. I'm gonna be honest. With the dark chocolate, with the original chocolate as like a baseline for the others, I'm just gonna have to give it like a five, five out of 10. It, I'm not giving it a five because it's like bad and it's like teetering on the, 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 the edge of like being bad or good. It's just kind of like, it's like the baseline chocolate, like for the, for the almond crunch of the, 
or the almond chocolate or the quinoa crunch they're it's the baseline chocolate and then those keen with the quinoa and the almond are just added so it's not like anything crazy different it's gonna be for the rest of these now back to the milk chocolate so i'm gonna give that like uh i'm gonna give that an eight i'm gonna give that an eight i think it has a, something a little bit more uh than the others because i don't like bitterness from dark chocolate i don't like tasting more uh cacao uh than just a regular chocolate now that's probably the fat capitalist american in me that's taking that instead of being healthy but you know whatever okay so back to so back to the back to the dark chocolate with the almond chocolate with the almond chocolate there's really nothing there to be added honestly i think the almonds just kind of like take away from it because i don't really like nuts there's like no reason so i'm gonna give that a baseline five compared to the five 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 for the original chocolate like just like what's the point the quinoa crunch And there's, mo and there's more to be had there. I actually like that quite a bit. Not as much as the milk chocolate because it is still a dark chocolate base with, with the quinoa, but I think it's probably going to be, I'll give it, I'll give it a seven, a seven. That's, it's, it's not bad. Uh, I like it certainly more than the others. Yeah, that better, that, that really about wraps up the video. Um, I'm going to ramble on as I usually do, uh, give updates on life events, I guess. Uh, there's a lot to go over. Uh, Christmas, New Year's, a bunch of stuff happened, but this is my Christmas present. I got my Letterman jacket, which I am very proud about. It is very cool. If you ask me, I got all my patches sewn on shortly after I got it. It's very warm, very comfortable, and uh, it was very expensive. That's something cool. I'm going to be getting my class. I'm going to be submitting for my class ring uh, in two days. Um, I'll pull up my pictures of my designs that I have. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going between three, uh, and I really don't, it's, it's the same design, but it's just between silver, a black, and then a gold and silver mix for, like, the colors and, like, the material it's made out of. I have a job, like I said, working as a, or working as a busboy. Uh, it's been a fun time. I have a lot of great coworkers that I really appreciate working with, and it's a job that I'm not necessarily hating right now. It, it's, I, kind of like dread going into work as anyone would but it's not like because of the job it's just because I have like I'm going into work uh no one wants to work but I I, I think I think it's a fun time um and it's not the hardest job in the world but it has come with a few challenges but yeah it's it's, it's a good time now with upcoming news I just got uh, I actually just got selected for this thing called MU Scholars Academy. Okay, it's uh, Bacchus editing this right now, and I just realized that this is a lot of rambling that you guys probably don't care about. To skip the whole explanation of what MU Scholars Academy is, uh, go to the timestamp right here. Uh, the TLDR is that it's a nerd camp, and it's going to take up like a month of summer. That's it. All right, see ya. Which is a summer program. It's a three-week-long program where, I'm, where I got selected out of uh, everyone in my sophomore class to partake in this three three week program at Mizzou campus in Columbia, Missouri. Uh, I'm going to stay on campus. I'm going to live in a dorm for the whole three weeks, and I'm going to be taking up classes. And I don't really know what I'm going to. It's pretty much like college, where you're going to have a major and a minor through the program. Uh, I don't know what those are yet. I really need to look into it. And. It's supposed to be a great learning experience, great, great look on college applications, and uh, supposedly a really fun time because you get to be with a lot of high intellectual people, uh, and hopefully I'm going to have a really fun experience. Uh, it's going to be taking up a lot of my June schedule, so, so I could completely just like go a long time without posting a video during the summer, which I would love to post more videos during the summer, um, but my schedule this summer is very, very busy. Avid viewers of this may know Hayden uh he was in my last two videos no not my last two videos but my second to last video I think uh maybe my third to last video with the uh, with the body armor review uh he was enlisting into boot camp at the time and as of yesterday he had he had told me that he had passed his final test and he is just waiting till graduation to graduate from uh basic training Everyone give him congrats in the comments. No, I'm just kidding. No one's going to do that. But he'll see this whenever he gets out and he gets more avid time to be on his phone. 
uh, more news about the summer is, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'm going to Europe. Uh, I have a two week long tr uh, med trip throughout the med Mediterranean where I'm going to France, Italy, Spain, and Switzerland, which are all countries with great foods and a lot of different opportunities. So I may or may not make food review videos in foreign countries, which I think would be great material and would be something great to watch. Uh, being able to try like real Italian food or something something as cool as like trying different like European brands, because uh, I know that because we're different cultures and we're different economies. And so we have really different tastes and there's uh, hundreds of different brands across the world that we at home will, will, will maybe never have tried. Uh, so uh, that's going to be a really fun time. I actually submitted my application for my passport today, uh, which was just a struggle in itself. Other than that, um, passed through my first semester, sophomore year, getting through it. Uh, basketball season's going on. Track season's going to start up right after. Been going through a lot of stuff. Oh, homecoming. Homecoming is going to be coming up within, I think, two weeks. Really excited. I'm actually going to ask your girl about homecoming. Uh, I'm not going to release any specific details about that. Got to respect people's privacy. But um, I'll update you whether, whether or not I, uh, she said yes um, whenever I make my next video, if I remember to do that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll put some pictures up of me hopefully having a good time. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much my uh, my life right now. That's that's this food review, uh, Mr. Beast Feastables uh, chocolate, and yeah, I'll have to I'll have to catch you on the next time. All right, see you. <laughs>